Hello guys, welcome back to the another new lecture. In this lecture, uh, I'm gonna showing to you how to develop, uh, how to build up in this here menu menu section. So this is a very easy. So you firstly you have to go to your function dot psp. Then in the here, you can do it actually in the above uh, fun this script function above and after that down. Okay. So don't worry about this. You can just uh, create this. So you have to uh, create function fancy left set for uh, that is the i think function function then i will give this another fancy lab function name okay after that it will be uh, config create a function then using this second curly braces then i'll just uh, I'll create a edit function add then action so that will be action okay after set of theme then fancy left config so in this here the, uh, I'm going to create this theme slug like that you can define this register name menu so firstly you will uh, come to you in your pages and create a new page in this here after that ok 1 2 3 4 5 so first let's just define this home page and publish it delete this and create this uh, blog then delete this and create this store delete this and I'm going to create this another pages in the here okay it will be about page it will be just a contact page it will be uh, privacy policy okay and just refresh this browser then you'll show that here is the your in your menu menu section like that pages in the here nothing to happen in this here okay guys so hopefully we'll just register your uh, menu in the here or register nav menu that's the very easy guys just I'm going to using this array function after that here I'll just defend this theme location primary container class primary nav and container id I don't need to this actually okay I'll just delete this I'm going to using this fancy lab main menu main menu okay it will be fancy lab main menu select main menu so then you have to come back in your browser finish this code and refresh this okay here is the another problem Okay, I'll just delete this I don't need to this using this comma 23 and 
23 23 ok fancy lab main menu delete this and refresh this browser 29 same error why ok this is the register app menu so you have to go to google and simply type here wap menu register okay guys then hopefully you'll better suggestion from this webs website developer.wordpress.org okay just i'll copy this the array function you can function to edit the nav menu in the register nav bar and footer okay guys so hopefully it will work I'll just using this function add nav menu register nav menu error function create this after that add nav menu this is the function name this is the primary menu like the slacks navigation navigation bar it will be primary it will be main menu footer menu footer bar footer menu ok then I'll come back and refresh it ok everything is right so in the here you will show that uh, our menu is coming to here coming here so menu is uh, show to you in the here you can just create this menu and title this uh, name uh, you will give this main menu or primary menu ok just click this create then you will show that here is your pages you can just using this contact page and add it to this menu ok guys so hopefully you will just uh, using this uh, synchronous or synchronous ok then refresh this browser menu and you will show that this is your menu and charge spawn logo ok uh, actually we don't uh, work this we didn't work actually uh, our style.css for that uh, it won't show to you so don't worry about this guys so today actually in this lecture we'll learn about how to register this menu so this is the very simple way okay guys so guys so guys now uh, we are build up this uh, our menu section in the here so uh, you have to go to your google uh, header.psp and after that we will just uh, using this menu function ok so after that in the main menu and you can just you will just using this here uh, into the menu ok nav menu so in the here just I am going to using this psp uh, starting and closing oh. okay then it will automatically uh, show to you this is the my copilot co code copilot uh, so github copilot this is the very very helpful for you so you can just simply using this tab then oh, that is the very easy okay okay guys so you have to go to google and simply type here uh, wap register menu then you can uh, get it uh, find it easily after that you will just uh, using this wap nav menu dynamically then you can find it in this code easily wap nav menu ok you have to write actually uh, in your google 
search box just, just up name menu then you can find it easily okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand in this example so you have to come back in your function dot PSP and uh, this is the primary menu okay this the main menu so I'll just finish this work primary menu ID primary menu okay I don't need to this actually but uh, don't worry about this and refresh your browser then you'll show that what happened okay so guys uh, I'll just delete this uh, style.css then you'll very clear and uh, you have to un very, uh, you have to understand very well in this code and start it will come back in your style.css and you will just delete this main menu okay you will just using this green color after that you can you'll, you have to go to google and simply type here um, glass morphism color code generator okay html css color code generator so it will be very helpful for you okay i'll just copy this copy this css and you will come back in your browser uh, in your in styler css and just paste it and refresh this browser and you'll show, show that what happened wow this is the very very okay this is very nice design so this is very simple you have to go to uh, you will just helping this third person uh, third party website so that is very re uh, really very very helpful for you so you have to understand that uh, how we'll make this menu okay guys so hopefully you'll better understand this is the when you'll uh, write it in inside of this header dot psp simply this is the code then you can uh, you will show that here is your menu okay guys so so hopefully you will better understand this example so guys uh, you will show that and you will notice this this is menu actually uh, we are developed this actually this is the horizontal and uh, this is very needed for you and uh, it will be about then after the blog then contact then home page then privacy policy so i hope you'll better understand in this example so you have to go to your standard css and you'll just define this uh, I'll just copy this main menu so this is very easy okay guys so paste it and ul after that li and you'll use this background color or anything you can get it easily so guys at first uh, I'll just define this display in line and in the here i'm going to using this margin it will be uh, like the zero then oh no zero uh, after that five pixel after that zero zero okay guys so uh, refresh your browser then what happened in this here okay guys so you'll show that this is the actually horizontal way in this here uh, so previous you will show that uh, vertical line actually but uh, now there is the very uh, going to using this another ul like that main then li or ul only padding zero then after that margin margin zero after that font size Oh, font size I can I'll just give this 8 pixels, 80 pixel, 18 pixel. After that, here font weight bold, and after that, border radius, border radius, it will be 0. Okay, I'll just give this font weight not bold, I'll just do this 500 so and i will come back in browser and refresh it oh this is the 
looks very good but it will be uh, interesting this too much okay looks better so you will better understand in this uh, example I will just uh, response in this maneuver okay so guys I hope you better understand in this example so your menu actually uh, you can add this anything and then just check it oh I will just manage this and save it refresh it not it about the blog contact home fees privacy policy simple fees store fees but oh okay I'll just select this primary then primary menu menu ID I don't need to this I just delete this So guys, firstly you will just set uh, setting. You will change this setting. After that, uh, general writing, reading, and discussion of media, formatting, and privacy. Everything you can just setting this like that. You come, you will come in your settings inside of this reading part. Then you can just change this home and vlog. After that, save this, save changes, and after that you can just using this post name then you can change this post name okay and that will be helpful very for SEO and change, change save change this so guys I will uh, show to you uh, how to synchronize this home page and after that about blog and uh, it will come to this your menus but uh, main menu ok and save it main menu after that footer menu automatically top up save this so guys just refresh this browser and after that you will show that everything is ok so after next lesson we will build up this uh, dynamically or menu menu section and after that we are just added this another um, menu in the here then you show that nothing to change but uh, uh, in the next lecture lesson we are we will show that uh, dynamically and we will build up this or uh, dynamically our menu menu section so don't worry about this so thank you guys see you soon in the next lecture